The new Velma show that came out a couple of days ago has to be one of the best things to come out of this year. Is what I would have said if it was. No, this show can suck a goat's dick. So, where did it go wrong? Well, pretty much everywhere, from the characters all the way to the jokes. And sometimes the characters are the jokes because of how poorly written they are. This show has changed so much of the original source material that, if the title was different and did not give any reference to Scooby-Doo, people might think it's a spin-off of like Riverdale or something. The characters may look the same, but they act completely different from what we've known them for from previous shows. Velma is the sassy girl who tries to fit in, Daphne is the school bitch, Fred is a coward who apparently has a small penis, and Shaggy, or excuse me Norville, is black. That's it. And that brings me back to my point, this show was so different you might mistake it for something else, and it probably was supposed to be something else in the beginning, but then the creators thought, hey you know Scooby Doo is pretty popular with kids these days, if we can get the rights to that we'll probably make a lot more money than if we didn't. But the only thing they ended up doing is ruining the image of these characters for possibly many years to come. If there's one positive thing I could say about this show, it's that it has good animation. Anyways, besides characters, now let's talk about the plot. It's very basic. Essentially, there is a serial killer who is removing the brains from their victims and they blame it on Velma. And so in response to this, Velma wants to create a team in order to find out who the real killer is, clear her name, and while simultaneously finding out who her mother is, apparently. And with that aside, the first two episodes are garbage. But don't take my word for it, because if you head over to IMDB, you'll see that the first episode was given 3.5 stars out of 10, and the second only 3 stars. Oh, and here's a little fun fact. It's apparently the second lowest rated series ever produced by HBO. I'm not really going to discuss each episode in detail, or really at all, However, I am going to point out one single creepy scene that somehow made it to the first episode. It happens in the first three minutes. And basically, Daphne and a bunch of other girls are taking a shower in the girls' locker room. Yeah, a bunch of 15 or 16 year old butt naked teenagers are taking a shower in a show like this for adults. But besides that, I guess the only other scene that stood out would be the ending to episode 2, where essentially Velma is hallucinating this monster and Daphne has to snap her out of it, and what she does is that she kisses her. But I guess one kiss wasn't enough so they start to make out right after. These two characters never really showed any romantic interest in each other. Like I know that Velma was supposed to be a lesbian in Mystery Incorporated or something like that but Daphne? I'm not sure about that. Regardless of what people might think about this show, we can all agree that it's not doing good at all. I'm not sure if I should watch the entire series myself just to make another review, but it might cause me eye cancer so I don't know. Anyways, have a good day.